There are many factors which influence the facility location decision for a company. One of those factors is the transportation cost for receiving and shipping the material from a facility. This transportation cost needs to be looked at with a holistic view for the entire transportation network for the company. Transportation model is one such method which can help in this regard. So let us look at an example and find out how transportation model helps in facility location decisions. Alpha Processing Company has three production plants located at Evansville, Lexington and Fort Wayne. So in this map, the locations shown with red are the production plants for this company. So Fort Wayne, Evansville and Lexington. Now five year operations plans require that 200 shipments of raw material be delivered annually to the Evansville plant, 300 shipments to Lexington and 400 shipments to Fort Wayne. So since these three facilities are the production plants, they need shipments for raw material. And as per the company's five year plans, they require 200 shipments of raw material be delivered annually to Evansville plant, 300 shipments to Lexington and 400 to Fort Wayne. Now currently, Alpha has two sources of raw material, one at Chicago and the other at Louisville. So in this map, these locations shown in green, Chicago and Louisville are the sources of raw material who ship the raw material to these three production plants. Now the Chicago source can supply 300 shipments per year and Louisville can supply 400 shipments per year. So an additional source of raw material must therefore be found. So if you calculate the demand at the production plants is 200 plus 300 which is 500 plus 400 which is 900 shipments per year. Whereas the total supply of raw material is 300 plus 400 which is 700 shipments per year. So currently they are short by 200 shipments per year. So they have decided to have an additional source of raw material which will supply the remaining 200 shipments per year. Now based on preliminary research, Alpha has narrowed the choice to two attractive alternatives, Columbus and St. Louis. So on this map, the locations in blue are St. Louis and Columbus. Each of these sites can supply 200 shipments per year. So both have the same supply capacity of 200 shipments per year. And Alpha as a company wants to select one out of these two. Now Alpha has decided to make its decision based on the transportation costs. So basically Alpha is saying that whichever location provides the company a lower transportation cost, they'll choose that location. So we have to determine the recommended location. So this is a typical case of transportation model where we have some sources of supply, which is Chicago and Louisville, and some destination which have demands like Fort Wayne, Lexington and Evansville. Now we want to add one more source of supply and we want to find out which one can provide lower cost of transportation. So let us see how we can model this problem in terms of a transportation model. So on the screen you can see the transportation table for two options. First if the 
third location is Columbus and second option where the third location is St. Louis. So in the first table on the left hand side I have placed the sources. Currently there are two existing sources Chicago and Louisville and the third option is Columbus. And on the extreme right I have mentioned the shipment capacity at each of these sources. On the top I have placed the destination which is the plants Evansville, Lexington and Fort Wayne and at the bottom are the demands at each of these locations. Similarly for option number two on the left hand side I have placed the sources which is Chicago, Louisville and St. Louis. Chicago and Louisville are the existing sources while St. Louis is one of the options. On the right are the shipments available at these sources 300, 400 and 200. On the top are the plants Evansville, Lexington and Fort Wayne and the bottom are their individual demands 200, 300 and 400. So the idea is to find out which matrix gives us the lower transportation cost. The first matrix has Columbus as the third source and the second matrix has St. Louis as the third source. Now both have the same shipment capacity but the difference will be in the unit cost per shipment from these locations to the plants. So now the company Alpha Processing has done some research and have found out the unit cost per shipment from each of these sources to each of these plants. So let us note those figures down. So from Chicago to Evansville the cost per shipment is $200. To Lexington it is $300 and to Fort Wayne it is $200. $200. From Louisville to Evansville it is $100. From Louisville to Lexington again $100 and for Louisville to Fort Wayne $300. From Columbus to Evansville the unit cost of shipment is $300. 200 and 100 dollars. Similarly for option number 2 200, 300, 200 100, 100, 300. Now for these two sources the cost remains the same for both option 1 and option 2. The difference will be for St. Louis. So 100, 300 and 400. Now each of these options will be solved individually using the transportation method which I have covered extensively in the videos for transportation model. So let me now note down the final allocations for these two options. So 100 units from Chicago to Evansville, 200 units from Chicago to Fort Wayne, 100 from Louisville to Evansville, 300 from Louisville to Lexington and 200 from Columbus to Fort Wayne. For the second option 300 from Chicago to Fort Wayne, 300 from Louisville to Lexington, 100 from Louisville to Fort Wayne and 200 from St. Louis to Evansville. Now based on these allocations the total transportation cost for the first option comes to 120 
zero 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 dollars and for the second option the total cost comes to one four zero 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 so definitely the total cost for option number one is lower than the option number two let's see how it happened for Chicago in option number one the first cost is 200 and the second allocation cost is also 200 and in the second option the allocation is only for the Chicago to Fort Wayne route which is for 300 so since the cost is the same 200 200 200 there's not a lot of difference between these two allocations in terms of cost let's look at the second row which is Louisville so 100 are being shipped to Evansville at a cost of $100 each and 300 are being shipped to Lexington at a cost of $100 each so basically 400 are being shipped at a cost of $100 whereas in option number 2 300 are being shipped at $100 each whereas 100 are being shipped at $300 each so here there is a difference because 300 are being shipped at $100 in both cases whereas in the first option 100 are being shipped at $100 and in the second option 100 are being shipped at $300 now let's look at the third row so from Columbus 200 units are being shipped to Fort Wayne at $100 each and for the second option from St. Louis 200 are being shipped to Evansville at $100 each so this also is pretty much the same so the main difference in cost is because of the allocations for the second row which is from Louisville to these three plants and that has happened primarily because of the unit cost of shipment from the third location to these various plants. So this is how the transportation model can help us identify which location would help in minimizing the overall transportation cost.